Hey everybody, this is I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing PFSense inside a Proxmox VM. So the first thing we'll need to do is navigate to the PFSense website and download the installation ISO. Once the download completes, we need to extract the gzip archive. On Windows, I'll be using 7-zip to extract the file. Now that we have a usable ISO file, navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. Expand the Proxmox node and select the storage device we're going to upload the ISO to. Select ISO images, then upload. Browse to and select the pfSense ISO file that we just extracted. Once the ISO file has been uploaded, we're ready to create the VM. So right click on the Proxmox VM node, create VM. Give the new VM a unique name and ID. On the OS tab, select the pfSense ISO we uploaded just a moment ago. Leave the defaults on the system tab. Set the disk size to 8 gigs or more. Set the number of cores and set the CPU type to host. Set the VM memory to at least 1 gig. On the network tab, uncheck the firewall box. Select the newly created VM, then select Hardware. Click the Add drop-down, Network Device, uncheck the Firewall box and click Add. Next, select Options from the left navigation, double-click Use Tablet for Pointer and uncheck the Enabled box. Click the Start button to power on the VM, and then click Console. Once the Welcome to PFSense screen appears, press Enter. Press Enter to accept the license agreement, then press Enter to install PFSense. Select a key map and press Enter. Select Auto UFS BIOS and press Enter. PFSense will start copying and installing files. Once the installation completes, navigate back to the VM hardware, select the CD device and select Do Not Use Any Media. Then back at the VM console, continue with rebooting the virtual machine. Once the PFSense VM is booted, it'll start prompting you to set up the network configuration. This will vary based on your network needs. In this tutorial, I'll just be setting up a static IP address so I can reach the PFSense web UI by selecting option 2 at the main menu and going through the prompts to set the IP address and gateway. Once you've completed the network configuration and assigned a static IP address, open a new tab in the web browser and navigate to it. Log in with the username admin and the password pfSense. Once logged in, the pfSense setup wizard should appear. Click through the wizard to complete the pfSense configuration. The wizard allows for setting up the pfSense hostname, DNS servers, as well as the time zone. When prompted, enter and confirm a new admin password to use for the web UI. Welcome to PFSense running as a Proxmox VM.